Right. So, so we, we talked about how biologicals are different from small molecules. And small molecules, as the name indicates, they're small and they're easy to produce. Uh, chemists are able to synthesize them without the help of living tissue, of living cells. They run chemical reactions. And so um, once the chemist has the product, the chemist is able to analyze the product and demonstrate it's 100% pure. No other impurities in, in the product. Great stuff. The biological, of course, is very large. It's a peptide. It may be 200 amino acids long, 2,000 amino acids long, 10,000 amino acids long. It's a very, very large molecule. And because it's produced by living cells, you're never going to have it 100% pure. It always comes with other stuff, other stuff that the cells have produced. So just like the wine production from the Rutherford Winery, where uh, grapes from one 10 square foot plot produce a wine that doesn't taste anything like the wine from another 10 square foot plot right, right close by because of the air, the rain, the soil, the soil content, uh, the, 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 the bugs that are attacking the grapevines, all those things, you're going to get this large variety of taste and mouthfeel and aroma in the wine. So there's a very broad um, variation in the wine from one year to another and from one plot to another for the same year. Same is true for the biologicals. There's a very large variation from one batch to another and from one production factory to another because of all the other stuff that these living cells produce. As you know, when, when you make wine, you, f you press the grapes, you get the grape juice, then you put them in a vat and you ferment it. What's going on in fermentation? Oh, well, there are living cells, yeast cells that go in and ferment the sugar, convert it to alcohol, and they do all kinds of other things. And it produces this very complex mixture of, in of ingredients that we all love as wine. Same is true for the biologicals. You take this DNA, this information, you put it into the cell, and then you put the cell in a vat, and then basically what you're doing is you're fermenting these cells, and they're producing this, this peptide, but they're doing all kinds of other things too. And the, the, the juice that you get out, it contains that peptide, but it, that, that polypeptide, but it is uh, in mixture with all kinds of other things. That's why the biologicals are so different. They are complex, whereas the small molecules the pharmaceuticals like Lipitor that you take, it's one molecule. It's the same thing every time, batch to batch. Everybody can produce the same thing 100% pure.